Y'all, can y'all believe that some of the most broke down, low down, dusty females are out here with the audacity to job shame? Mm. I just, I can't fully understand how some of the brokest women are out here talking about, oh yeah, the man that I get with, he better be making at least a million dollars and the man that I get with. And it's like, ma'am, you won't get with anybody with this type of mentality, personality, You'll be lucky to get passed around. Amen. Amen. So I'm gonna tell y'all right now, even the uh broke down smokies of the world, even they are getting tired of y'all. Even they are no longer dealing with y'all. So I don't know what y'all are gonna do, especially when you're so shallow as to shame a man for trying to provide for himself or his family and make an honest living. Y'all are trash. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, you all. We got to break this down. We got to get into this. And also, let me go ahead and make this disclaimer. Fellas, if you're out here and you're working in one of these fields or in one of these places that this quote-unquote high-value woman is claiming that a man should not, a grown man should never, a grown man, you're broke, you're dusty. If you just so happen to uh, have an occupation that falls under one of these categories, I want you all to know that don't pay it any mind. Don't take it personally. Take zero offense to it because, I mean, after all... Uh, would y'all want this type of chick anyway? So, yeah. Um, not too much. Okay? We got to start off by saying this. Shout out to you all. I respect you all. I honor you all. Because at least you are doing what you have to do to provide, to be stable, to be secure, to make your own ways. We don't know y'all's lives. We don't know what you had to go through, what you had to endure. Maybe you're starting over. Maybe this is your third and fourth job. You know what I'm saying? That goes along with your real career. We don't know. So salute to you all. Nobody should make you feel bad and continue to prosper. Because these are going to be the same chicks that have the most to say about you, to ridicule you and shame you. They're going to be the same chicks bowing at your feet, talking about, you know, I just, I need me a real man to save me. And I just feel like you a hard working brother. And so like, I respect your hustle. While she's talking all this nonsense, these type of chicks will be the same ones begging at your feet, begging for your McDonald's paycheck, begging for your police officer paycheck. She the same one. So again, not too much. Don't take offense to it. Don't let it get to you. If anything, just use it as extra fuel to continue to get on your grind and hustle. All right? Be on your purpose. Elevate. Use whatever resources to continue to build yourself up. Never let a low value, wanna be high value, fake, bougie, bad chick deter you from your path. Amen. Amen. Let's get it started. And again, y'all like the video, show the video and subscribe. Ladies, don't be like her. Don't be so superficial and surface level and materialistic to where you can't see the bigger picture. Don't let that type of warped thinking block you from your blessings. Because I'm telling y'all right now, these same men that y'all are ridiculing and shaming, they will be the same men that you want and are begging for in the future. Why? Because he has work ethic. Why? Because he has hustle. He has grind. He's not letting his ego get in the way from him getting it. 
let's get into it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's hear what this high value woman has to say. Okay. Here's a list of jobs that men should not do, especially grown ass men. Okay. For one, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you. All right. Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown ass men in his goddamn forties flipping my goddamn burger. Okay, let it go. Leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't want to see no grown-ass man handing me a dress, okay? Why are you a grown-ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense, okay? Target, Marshalls, like, guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. But once you're a grown-ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. And for you high value men that think that it's high value to work for the city. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're absolutely wrong. All right. No police officers, no firefighters, no construction workers, no mailmen, no post office. Um, if you consider that a high value man, you're absolutely wrong. Okay. There's nothing high value about making 70,000 a year. You men that think working for the city is high value, it's actually not, okay? It's pathetic. It's sad, all right? I don't want my husband coming home smelling like trash. Yes, we do need people to take the trash out, but don't come to me thinking that that's a high value job. Absolutely not, okay? You guys need to go get some real careers, okay? Become an entrepreneur or something, all right? Own a Lamborghini or something. Like, you guys thinking that this, you driving around, here in a fucking Toyota and thinking that you're a high value man because you work for the fucking post office. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it. All right. You're low value. All right. And if you want a high value woman like me, you need to switch your career path. Uh, let's take a moment to analyze this. Okay. Okay. Um, right now we're trying to see where is the high value in this woman? Okay, we're just taking a moment to look closely, you know, okay. Um, anyway. <clears throat> like I said earlier, right? We don't know what people's lives are, what they had to go through, what they are going through to make them kind of have to work in these certain positions, like being in fast food or working in retail and things of that sort. So not too much. A lot of the times those are, you know, these guys' second and third jobs. They're just trying to make ends meet so that they can you know pay their mortgage so they can pay their rent so they can help their children out like you don't know so uh, again let's stop being so surface level so shallow a lot of these guys y'all are looking down on they actually have more money and value than your low budget ass okay that's first things first Y'all got to learn to stop judging a book by its occupation, all right? <laughs> because I'm going to tell y'all right now, some of the most solid and secure, financially stable people are the ones that you would least expect. Why? Because they're not wearing their wealth. They're not wearing their paychecks. They're not wearing their money. So while you are turning your nose up at that guy that drives a Toyota, guess what? He could buy your whole life two times over if he had to because his money is not going down the drain on a Lamborghini. What she say, a Lamborghini? Girl, please. What are you? And no shade, no tea, but all the shade and all the tea. These are the same chicks that 
drive a Honda Accord. But she thinks that because it's a 2023 Honda Accord, she doing something. But at least my car up to date. Period. Yeah, I'm paying $3,000 a month for my car. No, because my credit is trash. But like I said, I'm a high value real woman. And so I don't take anything less. A lot of these chicks, let's just be honest, y'all. They are broker than the average McDonald working man. They are broker than the average retail working man. Let's be honest. And like I said, a lot of those men that y'all are looking at like, oh, he broke because he worked here. Why he doing this and why he doing that? Those are the men that have massive savings accounts, investments, and you don't know his life. Outside of this maybe being his second and third job, let's say that maybe just maybe his life was not on the right path earlier on due to maybe him growing up in certain communities maybe due to him growing up in poverty not having access to certain opportunities or outlets that forced him into a position to where maybe he was in a very unfortunate position locked up you already know a lot of men end up in jail you know, a lot of men just end up on the wrong path for all the right reasons, right? They can have the right motives behind why they are doing certain things like being in the streets, pushing away. And y'all know what we trying to say. We got to watch out for YouTube. But before you know it, your whole life is passing you by. Your whole life has been stripped away from you all because you were trying to make a way for maybe your mother you're the mother of your children, your children, and maybe you were looking for a fast way to make ends meet and you got caught up. Well, a lot of those guys may get out of, you know, that tight spot later on in life to where they have to start completely over. And we already know that when it comes to men being in certain lifestyles or having certain track records in history, a lot of the well-to-do job that you all would not be ashamed or embarrassed for your man to have they're not going to open up their doors to those brothers so again you don't know their lives you don't know if this is their starting point you don't know if they are starting over and building you don't know all y'all know is the surface level all y'all know is material possessions and again, this is why a lot of you bras are broke in the first place. Y'all make all this money, right? Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's just some real talking a little big sis. A lot of these chicks like this female here, they could be making decent money. Yeah, I got my real women's gold chain. Mm -hmm. I got my real woman's sundress, my Cardi B nails. Mm -hmm. I got my um Sphinx or Jinx, whatever the hell this name this name is. I got my Jinx bust down lace front. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't tell me she's not giving the Jinx aesthetic. Y'all can't tell me that. So she feels that because she is making all this money and she's able to blow and splurge through all of her money that that makes her high value no it makes you broke it makes you a struggle dusty ma'am y'all know how y'all love to call men struggle dusties no you are the struggle dusties y'all get it so warped and confused Oh, but I got this job and I'm a brand ambassador and I make this type of money and I'm able to drive this type of core and live in this type of neighborhood. And so I'm high value. No, you're broke. Fake bougie, fake bossy. I'm bossy. Fake. You would be lucky to get with one of these brothers at McDonald's at ross you will be so lucky you don't know what these men have in the tuck 
But all you know is, well, he ain't driving this type of core and he ain't working at this type of job. So he broke. No, you're broke. People who think like you are broke, man. You don't know the half. Let's take it a step further. And again, y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. This chick then goes as far as saying that if you work for the city, you're not high value and you're trash and dusty as well. Why? Because you make $70,000 a year. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but last time that I checked, when it came to the average salary of a lot of these women out here, y'all are not even touching 40K. Do you understand me? You're not even touching 40,000. Let me look up the actual number. And again, y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe, you all. It says the median female salary is $39,688. And that's if you work full time. So for her to fix her jinx lips to say, yeah, and $70,000 an ish, when the average female is not even touching 40K a year, pump your brakes. Please stop. Y'all would be so lucky to get with one of these brothers that work at the post office, police officer fire, fire, who, whatever. You would be so lucky. And again, this is what I'm talking about as far as why a lot of y'all are ending up broke, miserable, and alone, struggling. Look at how you are so quick to judge. And then you get mad when people judge your broke ass. Y'all always trying to come down the real women's throats. That's because everything that comes out of your throat it's trash and bush. That's why. Everything that you say doesn't make sense. How is a man making $70,000 a year qualify him to be a low value man when you're not even touching half of what he's making or barely half of what he's making? Please stop it and have several damn seats. It's getting ridiculous. It is getting absolutely ridiculous out here with y'all ridiculous standards. Standards that you can't even meet. And a lot of y'all, as quiet as kept, and there's no shade, no tea, a lot of y'all that are reeling in this, you know, lots of boss chick money that you claim that you're reeling in right now, it will not be here in the next year. It will not be here in the next two years. Hell, a lot of y'all won't even have what you're bringing in in the next six months. That's how much your turnover weight, uh, turnover rate is. Oh, well, you know, I'm not able to be that brand ambassador no more because it's a new vibrant chick coming through your damn right. Oh, I'm not able to keep up with my lifestyle because they're not trying to pay us how they used to pay us, you damn right. And a lot of y'all are not saving for a rainy day. Because all of your money is going towards how you look, the aesthetic of your lifestyle, instead of actually living the lifestyle. Yeah, you drive this car and you live in this apartment. A lot of y'all, to be honest, ain't even doing that. I heard a lot of y'all are getting evicted. The hell is going on? You need to go be, you need to be out here trying to go and find a police officer if you ask me. Better go find that mailman, ma'am. Go get you a mailman. He can help you. Okay. But yeah, a lot of y'all chicks, all your money is being splurged on just how you look, how it presents. No savings accounts, no investments, no rainy day bank account, nothing. As soon as you get your check, it goes on. Um, your weave, hold on, let me pull it up. Goes on your bust down blonde weaves, your long ass nails. Hold on, 
I know that. I, look, I'm a woman too. I go to the nail shop. I know what y'all are spending. For my little short nails that you see, these are my real natural nails. For my nails, I'm spending at least, you know, 50 bucks for short nails. No design. Natural nails. No design. So when y'all pulling up with these long ratchet nails with the uh, diamonds on them, the designs, you know, and they charge you for the shape as well. So the, the, the pointier they are, the more they charge, all of that. Y'all spending at least $300 on your nails alone just so you can look like Jinx. Spending all this money on these lace fronts that's tearing y'all edges off just so you can look like Bulldog Keisha. Just so you can impress Smokey. So, again, not too much. Ah, uh, you too old and you're a grown ass man. He should never. Well, guess what a grown ass woman should not do? A grown ass woman should not be splurging and blowing all her wealth on lace front wigs and nails. A grown woman should be spending all her money on cheap, gaudy chains. A grown woman should be investing in a rainy day, planning for a rainy day, investing into herself. So that she can be at peace and at ease when she needs to, instead of having to climb and latch on to the next man to save her. That's what a real woman does. A real woman appreciates a man that's grinding and hustling, making an honest way, an honest living, living righteously. She salutes that brother. She doesn't turn her nose up at him and say, ah, you need to go out here and be an entrepreneur. For all you know, that job is funding his entrepreneurial life. You don't know. You don't know. Do y'all know how many men are out here working at these quote unquote dead end jobs to fund their businesses? No, you don't know that because you a dumb, silly girl. Okay, I know. But yeah, th there's men out here that's like, okay, my real job and that money goes toward my expenses. I'm going to go out here and get a side hustle and a side job to fund what I'm really trying to do, though. You don't know. And a lot of y'all are so basic in your thinking that it just really goes over your damn head. And I'm thinking it's the got to be glue or whatever that's on your edges that's holding down this deep, these damn lace fronts that's like maybe blocking y'all damn brains from receiving knowledge, wisdom and understanding. But whatever's going on, y'all need to snap up out of this. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, y'all are going to be the same chicks that wake up one day like, damn, where did all my money go? Where did my life go? Why is it that I was such this boss chick, but I have nothing to show for it? How am I this high value woman, but I'm living a low budget life now? Well, it's because. You thought that because you were able to splurge and spend all this money that you were making, supposedly, that you were doing something, but you were doing absolutely nothing. And y'all know what's real crazy? Those same chicks, like this chick here, will find herself working at those very jobs that she is claiming that a grown, real man should never work at. Be careful, ladies. While you're turning your nose up at him, that may be your next job. Just saying. Anyway, y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, do you agree with what she is saying? Do you disagree? I would love to know. Um, and I'm going to be honest, you all, a lot of women would agree with a lot of what she said. A lot of women are like, yeah, you know, a man, a real man, a grown man, he shouldn't do this. And a real man, a grown man, he shouldn't do that. And again, it goes over their heads what that man could actually be working towards. You know what I'm saying? It goes over their heads what that man possibly has gone through that placed him in this position. And again, we should salute those brothers for at least trying to be on the right path. But hey, y'all let me know. 
Um, do you agree with her? Do you disagree? I would love to hear all of y'all feedback down below. And again, you all feel free to email me at demariepoet at gmail.com. If you have any topic suggestions, any links, and if it's dope enough, we will turn it into a dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. I'm going to see y'all later.